A year from today, Wisconsin will have at least one new congressman. Republican Jim Sensenbrenner is retiring, creating a rare open seat in a district that has been solid red for decades. The 5th district includes parts of Milwaukee, Waukesha, Walworth and Dodge counties, as well as all of Jefferson and Washington counties. Thank you for running. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's good. It's going to be good. Right now, Scott Fitzgerald is the only Republican running in the 5th Congressional District. On Sunday, supporters joined him for a kickoff event in Pewaukee. The support that I've gotten so far in the 5th has been fantastic. Fitzgerald has spent 25 years in state politics, the last 10 leading Senate Republicans to pass tax cuts and make changes that all but eliminated collective bargaining rights for public employees under Act 10. He tells me there is one issue that comes up a lot on the campaign trail, and it's not just impeachment. A lot of people say you got to do something about the debt. You have to get a, a handle on it, and that's not an easy task. The nation's debt is now 23 trillion, with 3 trillion coming under President Trump after GOP tax cuts and defense spending increases. But Fitzgerald sees one key issue boosting Republicans' chances in 2020. When I'm out there talking to people about do they feel good about the economy? People are saying, yeah, we, we think the president's got it on the right track. That's not how Tom Palzowitz sees it. Mike, how you been? We caught up with the Waukesha County Democrat at a campaign event in Oconomowoc Saturday. It just doesn't work for everybody. And that to me is one of the more frustrating things is the economy is supposedly doing very well, but it's not doing well for most Americans. The Brookfield small business owner lost two years ago to Congressman Jim Sensenbrenner by 24 points. Do you think it's going to take a Hail Mary to win this district. Well, it's interesting because I would say it was a solid red. I don't think it's a solid red anymore. It's still a big climb and with big issues like health care. Palzowitz believes the country needs to move closer to a universal or government run health care versus private employer health insurance. But he says it can't and should not happen overnight. And if we continue to insist that health insurance needs to be tied to a job, we're not going to have the economy that we need moving forward. Right now, there are the, they are the only two candidates running, but the primary is not until next August, so more could jump in.